If you're like me, you have to be curious about what the next big thing in terms of technology is going to be for agriculture. Something to marvel the cell phone or the yield monitor, or perhaps even the use of GPS. This past week, I got to see a conventional tractor that was outfitted with an autonomous system. And the thing that really struck me with this is a company was doing some research, but this was more than just a demonstration. They were actually planning a grower's field. And I was there for a couple hours and got to witness what they were working on. And they'd been traveling throughout the Midwest with this tractor. Got to go in the cab and look around, if you would. And it's very conventional. Obviously, there's some added electronics. There was an RV parked on site where there was an operator in there. And he had his computer and was monitoring the tractor's performance and all those things. They also had a side-by-side running around in the field. And the operator there did have a remote kill switch. Obviously, safety is one of the most important things when it comes to autonomy. But I could tell you this. For me personally, been around agriculture my whole life. It was quite an experience. Just to see this thing working without any issues was pretty impressive. And I would argue that like a robotic milker in the dairy industry or maybe that new cell phone or a yield monitor or GPS, you always had that question, do we really need this technology? Are we creating other problems with it? Only time will tell, but certainly this is a glimpse into the future. Reporting on technology for This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.